Hello friends, welcome to another garage corner yoga where I teach you yoga from the corner of my garage. So we will begin sitting in hero's pose. You can come up onto your toes if you wish to add in a nice little stretch into the bottoms of the feet, the base of the toes. Begin to tune into your breath here. Relaxing all the muscles of your face. Lean forward and come back onto the tops of your toes here and you're just going to lean back using the support of your hands and lifting the knees for a counter stretch in the ankle and in the toes. Continue to connect with the breath. A key here is to, as you inhale, Remind yourself you're aware that you're inhaling, and as you exhale, you're aware that you're exhaling. We'll come back up to center and start to walk the left fingertips out to the left side as we raise the right arm up and over the ear. Open up the chest so you're looking up and over. And now you're going to lower the right hand down toward the left, and then crawl your hands forward and reach forward as much as you can while keeping the tailbone down. Feel the long spine opening up. Walk the hands back up and start to walk over to your right now. So the right arm is going to be pushing out and the left arm stretches up and over. Try to keep your left hip as close to your left heel as possible. So we're just feeling that long stretching on the left. Come back up to center. Now you're gonna take the right arm, inhale, come up, and exhale, lower for circles. So inhale, front, up, and exhale, back. Inhale, up and forward, exhale, back. Inhale, up and exhale back and down. Now we're gonna reverse going inhale up toward the back and then exhale down in the front. Continue for three more following the breath. Now switch over to the left. You're going to inhale, raise that left arm forward and exhale back and down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, relax the left shoulder, relax the muscles in the right. Exhaling, keep that left hip down, driving down into the ground. Inhale, reverse the motion now. And exhale as your hand goes down to the front and back around. Continuing, coordinating the breath. Come back to center. Feel the weight of your sit bones on both your heels again. Pull the belly in and start to lift the shoulders up, back, following the inhale as you go up and exhale as you go back. Reverse the motion now so the shoulders go up, back, forward, and down for a couple more. Now clasp the hands together and begin to open up the wrists with figure eights forward and backward. Still aware of the breath and the way that it moves with each body part. Release the hands and now come into a tabletop position. Inhale, drop the belly, drop the chest, open the heart, and exhale, curl the upper back, pull the belly in. Inhale into your cow, and exhale, pull the belly in toward the spine as you raise the back. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Out and exhale, still pulling the belly in. Come back to neutral, lift the right leg, 
back and straight and the left arm forward left bicep turning toward the ear keep the spine neutral you're going to bring your knee and your elbow to meet together and exhale separate inhale contract and exhale come back to straightening inhale contract exhale extend inhale and exhale inhale strong core hold it and exhale return keep that leg out now you're going to bring your left arm around and try to grab the ankle from the inside tuck the tailbone under as we come into a chest opener and a slight back bend here use the power of the thigh to push your hand away exhale come back and release now you're going to raise your left leg up and your right arm out by the ear pull the belly in level in the shoulders here level in the hips hold for a couple breaths inhale bring the knee and the elbow together and exhale extend inhale knee comes to elbow exhale and extend inhale pull the belly in and exhale inhale come center and exhale reach out to the ends inhale knee to elbow and exhale extend the leg and the arm keep that left leg out as you bring the right arm around for the inside of the left ankle opening up the chest in the right arm pull the belly in still push the foot away from the hand hand away from the foot release here and exhale release the knee and the hand tuck the toes now and begin to lower the chest down to the floor extending the arms in front of you you can keep your hands flat or cup them as i'm doing on the mat you can either keep your feet tucked or you can release them down your toes down onto the floor chin resting on the mat sometimes i look at the camera to make sure it's still running sometimes it turns off on me now we're going to come to a downward facing dog begin to pedal the feet inhale as you bend one leg and exhale as you switch coordinate breath with movement Really feel your down dog here. On an inhale, float, hop, or step to the top of the mat. And exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, swan dive all the way up. Hands meet at the top. And exhale, draw the hands down to center. Feel the breath now, feel the body warmed up a little bit more. Inhale, come onto the tippy toes. Hold for a second and exhale, release. Inhale, rise up to the tippy toes. Feel the muscles in the back of the legs contract for, for power and control. And exhale, release. Inhale, working on that balance. Feel the tiny muscles stabilize your body balancing on the balls of the feet and exhale relax lower the heels step to the front of the mat now inhale sweeping the arms all the way up and exhale keeping the belly pulled in spine long fold forward inhale look ahead of you pull the shoulders back and exhale planting the hands jump or step back into your chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale hips high belly in downward facing dog inhale that right leg comes up three-legged dog and lower it down 
come up to the toes on an inhale exhale bend the knees inhale jump or step to the top look ahead of you and exhale fold completely inhale sweep the arms up and exhale hands to the heart lower them down to the side inhale hands come up and exhale fold forward inhale halfway lift and exhale plant the hands jump or step back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog pull the heart through and exhale downward facing dog Inhale, left leg sweeps up, three-legged dog. And exhale, bend the knee, lower the foot down. Inhale, come up to the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, come to the top of the mat and exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up, reverse swan dive and exhale hands come to the heart hands by the side bend the knees now for chair pose inhale sweep the arms up look at the hands exhale you're going to bring the hands back and behind you clasp the fingers behind you open up the chest on an inhale and exhale fold forward keeping your hands clasped make room for the ears don't drop the shoulders if you need to bend your knees Keep the back straight. Inhale, rise up into chair pose. And then exhale, hands to the floor, fold. Inhale, look ahead of you. And exhale, jump or step back, strong chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg steps, sweeps up, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, bring it into the chest, and set the foot down in between the hands. Level out the hips here, lower that left heel. Inhale, come up into a warrior one. Open up into warrior two here. You might need to heel toe that left heel back. Look over the fingertips of the right hand. Tailbone is heavy. Left shoulder is pushed back. Inhale. Come to reverse warrior. Feeling that stretch all the way up through the fingertips. Exhale. You're going to windmill the hands forward. Level out the hips again. And you might need to step your left foot forward a little bit more and come up into crescent keeping that pelvic tilt moving forward strong right leg exhale open up to the right side now for a twist left arm forward right arm reaching to the back as much as possible on an inhale reverse the twist looking behind you and exhale, windmill the hands down to frame the foot, stepping back. On an inhale, sweep that right leg up. And exhale, lower the foot. Inhale, left foot sweeps up, three-legged dog. And exhale, step that left foot in between the hands. Lower the right heel, level the hips. Sweep the arms up on an inhale. Warrior one, relax the shoulders, look up at the hands or in front. Pull the belly in. Exhale, you're going to open up into a warrior two. You might need to heel toe that right foot back. Look over the right or the left fingertips. Open up that right shoulder. On an inhale, flip the left hand and lean back for reverse warrior. Looking up at the hand, feeling the stretch begin from the hip all the way to the fingertips. Exhale, windmill the arms forward and hands go behind as you begin to prepare for crescent pose. Sweep up. Tailbone is heavy. Lower the hips if you can. 
On an exhale, open up to the left. Inhale, reverse the twist, continuing the gaze to go past your shoulder to the back of the room. Breathe through the twist, relax the face. One more breath. On an exhale, bring the hands to the floor to frame the foot. Inhale, step that left foot back, three-legged dog. And exhale, release the foot to the ground. Inhale, push yourself into a plank and then a chaturanga. Then upward dog and downward dog on an exhale. Get ready to flow. Inhale, right leg comes up, steps through the hands, lower the left heel, warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior, coordinating the movement with each breath. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse the twist, left arm comes up. And exhale, windmill the arms down. Inhale, right leg sweeps up, three-legged dog. And exhale, step that foot down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left side. And exhale, step that left foot through. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And exhale, Sweep the hands down, prepare for inhale, crescent lunge, and exhale, open up to the left for a twist. Inhale, reverse the twist, and exhale, windmill the arms down to frame the foot. Inhale, sweep that left foot back and up, and exhale, lower it down next to the right. Right leg, inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, step it through. Lower the back heel, inhale, warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior, relax the face. And exhale, windmill the arms forward. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. And exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse the twist. And exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the foot. Inhale, sweep that right leg back and up. And exhale, step it right next to the left. Inhale, left leg comes up once more. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, pulling the belly in, reverse the warrior. And exhale, windmill the arms forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, right arm comes all the way up, reverse the twist. And exhale, windmill the arms down, frame the foot. Inhale, inhale, sweep the left leg up. And exhale, left leg meets the right. Come back to the breath. Bring that left hand a little bit more to the center and with your right hand, you're going to cross over to the left and grab your ankle, your left ankle with your right hand for a little twist in down dog. Looking underneath that left armpit. Replace the right hand now and switch. So left hand comes to the outside of the right heel, right ankle. Look underneath that right armpit to keep the shoulders and the hips in line. Keep pressing into that left foot as you breathe. Inhale, come back into down dog. Lift the heels. Jump or step to the top, look ahead of you. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reverse swan dive and exhale, hands at the heart. 
Inhale, we're gonna lift up onto the toes again, bouncing on the balls of the feet, tailbone pointed down, release. And on an inhale, we're gonna rise up again. This time, hands sweeping up, looking up if you can. Find the balance here. It is a little bit harder when you look up and change your center of focus. Pull the belly in. Almost there, keep breathing. As slow as possible, while still on your toes, bring the hands down to the heart and start to bend the knees, coming into a tippy-toe chair pose. Keep the balance here. Keep the lower back straight and long. Now you're going to exhale as slow as possible. Drop onto the heels, open up for garland pose. Malasana. If you need to, you could step the feet out to make a little bit more space if your hips aren't as open. And now you're going to tuck the right shoulder into the inside of that right knee and open up the hands for a twist. You can stay here or maybe you continue with that internal rotation in the right arm and go for a bind. Stay here, or the next Krama or evolutionary pose is not falling over like I'm doing. Keep your balance. Shift your weight into the left heel, and slowly with the strength in the left foot, come up for a balanced pose, keeping the shoulders open. Maybe you stay here, or try to wrap that right arm underneath the thigh, opening up for Bird of Paradise. If you're in Bird of Paradise, lower that right leg, bend the right foot, bend the right knee, and lower down. Now we're gonna switch sides. You're gonna open up that right arm up. Left hand crawls down the floor toward the left to open up. Maybe you stay here or you continue with that internal rotation in the left arm. Go for a bind, grabbing the left wrist, looking up and over the right shoulder. Stay here or shift your weight into the right foot. And slowly, with the strength in the right leg, pushing down into the floor, come up into one-legged balance, opening up the shoulders as much as you can to pull the heart through. Maybe you stay here or wiggle that left arm forward and behind that left thigh, making a bind, going for Bird of Paradise. Bend that left knee and begin to lower the foot down, coming back into Malasana. Tailbone is heavy. Use the shoulders and the elbows to push the knees out. Now you're gonna place both the hands on the floor right in front of the feet, preparing for a crow pose. So you wanna bring your knees into your armpits as much as you can. Feel that contraction in the core, holding your hip flexors very, very close to the core. Begin to play with the balance here, coming into a full crow or balancing on one foot or the other. Jump or step back into a chaturanga and lower all the way down. Inhale for baby cobra. And exhale, lower the chin down. Inhale, wave the spine, come into baby cobra and then shift back so that your shoulders are right above the elbows for sphinx pose. Pull the belly in, scoop the tailbone under. Now you're going to inhale and straighten the arms and exhale lower. So you're keeping the hands in the same spot. You're just changing the bend in the elbows. 
just very subtle movement in the muscles and the arms. Inhale, come up and exhale, lower. Try to keep the elbows in the same line the whole time. Inhale, come up and exhale, lower down. Now you're gonna tuck the toes underneath and come into dolphin pose. So on your forearms, lift the hips, straighten the legs. And now you're gonna straighten from dolphin pose, come into plank, shift forward and exhale, come into a chaturanga. Inhale, come up into plank from chaturanga and exhale, lower the elbows down for dolphin pose. Inhale, come up into plank, shift forward and exhale, elbows grazing the ribcage, chaturanga. Inhale, push back up into plank and exhale, lower down into dolphin. We're going to do that a few more times. Inhale, plank, shift forward, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, and exhale, slow, controlled movements. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank, and exhale, lower into dolphin. Inhale, plank. Pull the belly in, exhale, chaturanga, and lower all the way down. Untuck the toes, hands are extended past the hips. Turn that cheek, the left cheek to the mat and relax here. Reconnect to the breath. Take inventory of your heart beating, the muscles in your arms, the blood rushing through your body. Come back to center so the chin will come up to the floor before you pass the center and bring the right cheek to the floor. Relaxing the shoulders and your the muscles in your shoulders and in your neck. Relax the muscles in your face. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and push up for plank pose. And exhale, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Bend the knee, open up the right hip. Keep the shoulders level. You can look underneath the left armpit to keep the shoulders level here. Straighten that right leg. Keeping that right knee up as much as possible. You're going to shift up onto the balls of your left toes. Bring that right knee into your elbow as much as you can and come into a balance, an arm balance here. Straighten the leg if you can. Exhale, release. Inhale, hello. Inhale, upward facing dog. I have to check the camera often to make sure, you know, it hasn't turned off. <laughs> and exhale, downward dog. Inhale, open up that left leg now. Left hip opens up into the sky. Looking underneath the right uh, armpit to keep the shoulders square. Straighten out that left leg now. Inhale, come up onto the balls of the right foot, keeping the knee up as high as possible, that left knee up. Rest it onto the upper arm of your left arm. Shift forward, come into balance if you can. Inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. 
Inhale, right leg sweeps up to the sky. Open up that right hip again, looking underneath those, the left armpit. Slowly begin to lower that right leg. Come into a wild thing. Opening up the chest. Exhale, bring that right arm back to center. And inhale, sweep that foot up. And now exhale, you're going to bring that right foot through. So underneath, passing the left side and lower. Untuck the left heel. And if you need a little bit more in this twist, come up onto the right arm and thread the left hand through left palm facing up and you're looking toward the left side or toward the right side. So it's a full twist everywhere you go. If this is too much, simply stay on the elbows, feeling a twist in the lower spine. Inhale, sweep that right leg up, bend the knee and exhale replace the right foot inhale left leg sweeps up opening up the hip continuing this movement lowering that left foot opening up for wild thing pulling the belly in tailbone scoops down Inhale, bring that left arm, left hand back to the floor. Raise that left leg. Now you're going to shift the leg forward and toward the right underneath. And then lower the left leg, lower onto the hips. Lower onto the hands, the elbows, or continue that twist, raising up on that left hand and threading the right hand through right hand facing, right palm facing up. Untuck the right hip, right toe. Relax in this twist. Inhale, lift up. Begin to walk the hands slowly back up. Retuck that right foot under. Sweep the left leg up. Square the hips, square the shoulders, and lower the left foot next to the right. Walk the hands back towards the feet and come into a forward fold. If you need to bend the knees here, to keep the lower back straight, please do so. Pull the belly in. Relax the muscles around the arms and around the neck and the face. Let gravity do its work. You're going to place that right hand right underneath your face and open up that left hand to the side, coming in for another twist. Lots of twists today in this practice. Lower the left hand, replacing it underneath your face, and open up that right hand to the side. Try to keep the hips level here, still with the belly pulled in. If you need to use a block here for a little bit more height, please do so. Exhale, begin to walk the hands forward and come down onto the knees. Untuck the toes, sit back on the heels. We're going to play with some pincha or a forearm stand. If you have not gotten forward forearm stand yet, um, we're going to play with some strength here. 
So you're going to come onto a dolphin with your elbows about forearms distance apart and walk the feet as close as possible to the elbows. And what I'm doing here is raising up on my toes so we can feel the weight really hold in the back muscles and the armpit muscles. If you can find the balance and strength, raise up all the way. You can pause here and play as much as you like. These are always my favorite times of the yoga class that I get to play around. When you're finished, reset in child's pose for a couple of breaths and then come up. We're just rolling the neck around, really redistributing that oxygen flow. And we're going to do this for one more round, but lifting on the other leg this time. If you lift it on the right leg, try lifting with the left. It's important to do both. So here I'm showing again uh, the strength movement. So just lifting onto the toes and off the heels really gets your body used to holding that weight up over your shoulders. You can practice here if this calls for you. If you need to come to a wall for any of these postures, please do so. If you want to play at a wall, maybe someone can spot you at home. When you're ready, lower down, come into a child's pose. Connect to the breath. You're gonna walk the hands out again, coming into another puppy pose, opening up the heart to the floor. Maybe you come up onto your fingertips, tensing the palms. You're gonna come back up into a downward facing dog on your own time and make your way to seated pose. While we're seated, make sure the belly is pulled in, shoulders up, back and down. We're going to open up into a straddle as wide as you can. And now we're going to try our best to keep the thighs active so that the knees point up and the toes point up. Inhale, you're going to walk that left elbow to the inside of the left calf and stretch the right arm up and over. Keep opening up that right chest, the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, reset the spine. Lower the right elbow now to the inside of the right calf. Open up that left arm. Looking up at the fingertips. Maybe you reach down for the foot, but make sure you're continuously opening up that left shoulder. Breathe through it. Inhale, come back to center. Now you're going to take that right hand and swing it around. Left arm goes behind you. We're going to come into a twist. Looking over the left shoulder. Right hand now comes behind you. Left hand reaches for the outside of the right knee. Look over the right shoulder. Breathe through the twists here. Come back to center. Now you're going to exhale and pull forward, fold forward as much as you can. 
still with those thighs active, toes pointing upward. Make sure you're leaning forward with the belly, pulling forward with the chest and then the head. This will really help in keeping the spine long and pancakey. If you need to stay on your elbows, be my guest, be your guest, honor yourself where you are today. And now you're going to come into seated, reset. Maybe you bring your legs a little bit wider if you can tolerate it and you're gonna point the toes now and it's kind of like you're gonna pull out with the toes. So now the insides of the knees can come to the floor, rolling forward on the hips. You can make some rocking motions back and forth with the hips for some mobility. Some active stretching to open up those muscles a little bit more. Relax the face. Find the spot you can settle into. Surf your edge. Inhale, slowly walk the hands back. Lean back on the hips and sweep the feet forward. We're gonna come into butterfly. So the feet are gonna come together Hands like a book, holding the feet. Elbows reaching toward the back. Fold forward, opening up the hips. And then inhale and come up. You're gonna make a little bit of a wider diamond so you're leading your feet forward a bit more and now you're just going to fold over and into that little space in front of you. Really feeling no tugging or pulling, but just the opening of the back and the hips. I'm gonna come back to straight legs, seated. And now reach for that right foot you can cradle your foot into the left elbow if you wish. Or maybe you hook the right arm under, left arm under. But we're just aiming to open up that hip here. Now place that right foot on the outside of the left knee. Hug the right knee. And start to twist and turn over to the right side, looking over the right shoulder. Relax the right shoulder as it tends to come up to the ear. You're hugging your right hip with your left hand. You can either stay here or the next krama is to find that little space in your, uh, the little triangle of space underneath that right knee. Maybe you make a bind. Maybe you straighten the leg. Rebend that right knee. Come back to center. And lower the left right foot. This time we're gonna do the left leg. So bring your foot into your uh, right elbow if you can, or just hug your leg, cradle it. Maybe you hook your shin with your hands or with your uh, elbows. Still keeping the belly pulled in, still keeping the spine long. You can stay here or lower the left foot over for a twist. The next krama of the twist is making the bind underneath that left knee. Maybe you straighten that left leg, pointing the toes.
Release the foot, release the leg, come back to center and gently uncross that left leg. Reach the hands forward, roll the spine all the way down and lie down. Inhale, bring the knees up toward the chest and make mini circles going out and in, really feeling the nooks and crannies of the hips. Open up the hips here, come into happy baby. Straighten that left and then the right. Left knee and the right. Straighten the legs now. Inhale, lift the hips up into shoulder stand. Propping up that lower back with your hands. Make room for the chin, make room for the neck as you bring your chin up towards the ceiling. Breathe easy. You can play with any variation you want here before you roll out of it, using your arms behind you as breaks. Straighten the legs, lift the chest up, using your elbows to prop you up and come into fish pose, Matsyasana. If you wish to lower the hands and rest the crown of the head on the floor, you can walk your elbows towards your hip a little bit more to create space, just to reverse this shoulder stand. Slowly exhale and release the back, release the head. Inhale, bring the knees toward the face, hug your knees. Come back into one final happy baby. And exhale, lower the feet, prepare for Shavasana. Relax here for as long as you need. Shavasana is truly the fruit of the practice. So if you can afford five minutes, I would highly recommend staying in this. Really feeling the difference between your body now versus when you started. Taking inventory of the muscles in your face, your shoulders, your arms. Feeling the air as it comes into your lungs and out without you even telling your body to do it. It just does it. Again, stay here for as long as you need. Thank you for practicing with me today. And um, if you heard screaming and other stuff going around, it's Halloween today. My sister and her kids are just, you know, they're doing the family Halloween thing. I appreciate your patience with me and this production. The light in me sees and truly, truly appreciates the light in you. Thank you for practicing. Make sure you like, share most especially so you can do this with your friends and family and subscribe for more. Namaste.